Yo. You, you, you are now listening to the smoking section. Oh, yeah. Or oh, you'll find hot topics. And fire conversations. Hey, keep it locked. You hear me? Yo, 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 what is up, you crazy animals, what's up, what's going on, how you doing, listen, check it out, it's the Smoky Section, with your host, Big Corpse, yeah, repping that corpse collection, like always, y'all know the drill, y'all know the deal, yeah, I'm keeping it real, yeah, um, bringing you hot topics and fire conversation, check it out, man, um, Corpse Collection is doing things differently all the time, right? We always try to keep it switching up and trying to keep it fresh and funky for you, for you fucking free folks. Um, Yeah, so new podcast episodes will start being released on Fridays. Yeah. Um, And you can catch my live every other week, right? So every other week I'm doing a live um, and I'm like, I'm now starting to slowly bring back guests into the show to just try to like keep things like spicy and keep things interesting right so uh so yeah <clears throat> it's it's just it's crazy right it's been so crazy so doing the lives has been fun i did a live uh two days ago with a friend uh i'm getting some new equipment so there's new speak like and this, there's just a lot yo i'm building up I'm building up Corpse Collection all over again, right? And, like, taking it to new levels, trying to hit new heights, new new, new peaks, yeah, while escaping all these valleys. Um, and it's been, it's been so, it's been so fun here recently to invest, reinvest into Corpse Collection to try to, like, boost it up again. Um, and, and it goes, and it goes into the, to the IG topic that I got, right? So today's IG, I have an IG topic I want to talk about. <clears throat> and this one was submitted by my uh, my wonderful niece. Um, and this is talking about like small kids. Talking about t- small kids. <laughs> this isn't about small kids. This is uh, this is about kids, right? Coming from small towns. Yeah. So small city kids, right? With big city dreams, right? So small town, big dreams. Right, small town, big dreams. What it's like for us. So, for you guys who don't know, I guess I do reside here in Oxnard, California, which is which has now grown to be one of the major cities um, along the Central Coast. Um, I come, <laughs> like you guys gotta understand. I hail from a city where their last like recorded population was like 4,000 people, right? Or 5,000. Um, the city is, you know, a few miles, a few miles long. It's a small city surrounded by small cities, right? Um, you know, we have, you know, two grocery stores, uh, like two gas stations, three gas stations in the city, right? Um, half the bitch closes down on Sundays and the other half it's because they are like literally essential functions like you know so that's the only reason why they're open um wonderful Pembroke North Carolina is a it's a small town it's a small town it's a small country town it's it's literally a city where everybody knows everybody you know you don't really date in the city because you might be related to them, <laughs> you know, honestly. Um, and it's just, it's just so small. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how else to put it other than it is a small fucking town. And so being somebody like myself, right. And there's a couple other people shout out my man, Josh Oxendine, the ox man, you know, I've had him on the show too. He's a, he's a mixed martial arts fighter. Um, uh, you know, and as a mixed mixed martial artist coming out of that area, you know, there's not a lot, there's not a lot, there's not a lot there to be offered to you, right? And there's even like Stephen Thompson, who is a famous UFC fighter, right? Um, I don't know if he's ever been champion, but I know he has, I know he has gotten close and he's destroyed folks. 
you know, um, I remember watching one of his one of his old fights with Jorge Masvidal, and like fuck this dude up, right? Like he fucked Jorge Masvidal up. Um, but there's so there's so there's two in, but Stephen Thompson is from South Carolina, right? And one of the bigger areas from South Carolina. So it just shows how you know sometimes where you grow up can really propel you forward right people think you know even though times are changing right times are changing and people people are starting to get more and more privy to the idea that you know internet the internet is bringing us closer and closer together right but still if you're somebody coming from these small towns right like like a Pembroke North Carolina like you really got to go get it out the mud and people don't understand that. Being a kid coming from these small towns and these small cities, like you fight, you have to fight against so many odds, right? Like not only not only are you less represented, right? Because your town is so small, scouts and people who are searching for the talent aren't going to aren't going to start there, right? They're going to start in your major cities and your major towns, you know. So if you're from North Carolina. They're going to hit Raleigh, they're going to hit Durham, they're going to hit Wake Forest, they're going to hit Charlotte, you know what I'm saying? They might, they might fuck around and hit Fayetteville, right? And if you're from the Pembroke area itself, they you might even be luckier. You might be so lucky that they hit Lumberton. But Robeson County, you know, is just, it's just wild, like... It's it's a really large it's a really large area of the state, right, with no really major cities. Right? Robeson County is one of the biggest counties in North Carolina, but with like no really major city. Like and when I'm talking about major city, I'm talking about like three hundred thousand in population and higher. Right? Three hundred thousand is like their state capital. You know what I'm saying? The thing, the thing that, the thing that disturbs, that disturbs me about this, right, is, is that coming out of these small cities, right, the ratio of support to not support, I think is felt a lot differently, right? So here in California, where we have a lot of people, you know, I also have a lot of people not supporting me. Right, there's a there's a mass amount of people who don't give a fuck, right? They don't they don't care about what I'm doing. And that's cool, that's fine, that's dandy, right? Because there's uh, still a good amount of people who do support me on a consistent basis. Right? Like they support me on a consistent basis and I am thankful. Right? You go into these smaller towns though and you apply the same ratio, right? You say one out of all your five friends, right? one out of five for, let's just say let's just do some simple math here you, if you say one out of every five people are really going to support you right like they're going to really support you the other four are just going to tell you to fuck off it's one thing when you come from a big city because you may have a group of 20 right so now i have four people who are supporting me but when you go to the small town you may only have 10 so you only have two people supporting you right so that support system is is much different Right when you're coming out of a small town, the support, right, is so much different. Um, and I'm talking about real support. I'm not talking about people who just tell you congratulations, right? Oh, good job. Oh, honey, you know what I mean you're doing so good. I'm not talking about them. I know about people who support you, right? The people who show up to the shows, right? The people who tell you, mm, I don't think that's so good. Try it again, right? Like I want to see you do better, bud. You know. Like people who give you the real critiques and the real advice. The people who show up to the shows for you. The people who show up not only for you, but with you. Right? It's important. It's important that the kids, all you, all, all my young people, right, who are trying to get it up out of these small cities. Right? It's important that you know. Right, it is important that you know that you are supported, right? 
And even the one, the one, just the one, just the one, the one supporter is going to take you further than you could ever believe, right? So don't allow, don't allow the small city, right, to become the boundary of your life. Don't allow your city limits to become the limitation in what you grow into. Yeah. Our soul is boundless. Our soul knows no limit, right? All it knows is exploration. All it knows is endeavor, right? So feed it that, right? Feed it that. It's it's not lonely at the top, right? I have been able to come out of Pembroke, North Carolina, one of the places with uh, with a high with a high murder rate, a place with a rate where it's like one in every three men, right, are dead or incarcerated, right, coming out of high school. I like I remember some of the st- some of the statistics back then. Back then I was on a gang watch list. You know what I'm saying? Like at school, like I had to be escorted from from class to bathroom. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it was so bad. Like I was such a bad kid. <laughs> So I know what the statistics are. I know what they look like. You know what I'm saying? And I have a lot of friends there that are dead. Gone. Right? They're gone. No longer here on earth. And I got a lot of friends who probably wish they weren't. Because they're so strung out on drugs. You know? And it's... So if you're making it out, homie, run. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like, run. Like, dude, run run into the abyss, run, right, because we only got one life, right, we only got one, we got one shot at this, right, let me tell you something, whether the choice is right or wrong, you will never know the latter, right, so if you say, well, was it a good choice, was it a bad choice, well, you don't know, you'll never know, because as long as you make a choice, it's yours, Right, and just own it, own your choice, make those decisions. You know what I'm saying? Half the people, especially, and this doesn't mean this doesn't even mean coming out of a small city. This could be small, this is big and small city shit right here on this one. Half the people don't chase their dreams because they're incapable of making a decision, they don't want to make a choice, they want choices made for them. You know what I'm saying? So many people are caught up in the idea of, you know, having decisions made for them either by their parents, whether, yeah, whether it was from their parents or teachers or some of their peers. So sometimes coming out of these small cities and coming out of these places where there's not that many voices trying to like intrude on your ideas and intrude on your plans, sometimes it's the best thing that could have ever happened to you. Because I will say this too. Right. I will say this, too. There's quote unquote support systems, right? Quote, 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 support systems that I found myself inside that uh, that didn't really support me. Yeah, they didn't push me to be better. They didn't push me to do more. They didn't push me to go higher. Right. They were just happy that they were in the circle. Right. So sometimes we got to understand that sometimes these support systems that we're looking for, that even that we have, right, even that we have may not be with not maybe in the, within the bounds of our best interest. So finding that balance of understanding of understanding where we're at and where we're going, you know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to know, like, yeah, this is where I'm at. This is Pembroke, North Carolina. I got my two supporters, right? That's great, honey. That's great. That's great. But let's keep the main thing the main thing and stay focused on where we're going. Right? And as long as you keep the main thing the main thing, you'll get there. You'll be there with those two supporters, right? If they're really down to ride. And then you'll you'll pick up more supporters along the way. 
right? There'll be people that you meet at the shows, people that you meet at recording sessions. There'll be people you meet at meetings and seminars and conferences, right? No matter what it is or what you do, you will make the friends along the way. But you have to steadfast. You know what I'm saying? You have to you have to march on. Right? You have to embrace that small city. You have to embrace you have to embrace that obstacle and that trial. Cause it's not something meant for you to just simply overcome. The idea that you come from this city is not something just for you just to overcome. It's something for you to bear on your chest like a patch, homie. Like an emblem. Fucking Christ, like a banner, homie. Like it, like it's one of your bannermen. This not only to not only signal out to the world, not to only not to only signify. Wait, let me start right there. Not to only signify where you are from, but to signal out to the world that you can do it too. A signal like Batman, homie. A signal so that people, young, young boys and young girls, from all ages. In all corners of the world can look to you. They can look at you and say, I can look look at look look at them. I can do it too. Cause listen to me, I'm coming through your speakers right now. And you can do it too. You can do it too. Okay? At 18 I was locked up. Right? 17 I was strung out on pills. By 15 I was already in a gang. Right, notorious, beating people up, not giving a fuck. Right, getting guns pulled on me, getting knives pulled on me. Can't walk down the hall at school without somebody holding my hand. You know what I'm saying? And then look at me now, business owner. Right, clean, being clean, no records, no more nothing. Got my son, got my job. Got my business, got my podcast, got my investments. Life takes a turn when you make a choice. Life takes a turn when you're brave enough to just tread, just to tread through. Just tread through, bro. Just just, just keep your feet kicking, bro. Right? Like the duck. You know, people always say when, when life gets crazy, right, think about a duck. Because even though they're still on top of the water, those feet are fucking paddling. Right, the feet are kicking. Right, so sometimes staying above water is just about staying above water, you know. So, wear that mark on you, wear it, stay above the water, keep those feet kicking because somebody else is watching you float along. Right, and the further you go, the longer you do it, the more brave they get. And then one day somebody will point to you and say, they inspired me. They were the ones that got me. They were the ones. They did it. They helped me. They showed me. Right. My my sister, Adrian, right. I'll shout her name. I'll say her name. My sister, Adrian, right. Was raised, been raising babies since she was 18. Right. Got it out the mud. Got it out the motherfucking mud. Disowned by my father. Right, I'll, I'll put this out there. I'll put this out there so y'all motherfuckers know. Right, got disowned. Right, ended up moving to North Carolina with her two babies. Right, left the baby daddy in the dust. Right, got to where we were at. Was living in our trailer. Right, so there's ten of us in the fucking house. She moved out, had her own trailer. Got her job, started working, working double time. Right. To provide for her children and did it all on her own back she never had a man in there supporting her she never had a man in there fucking handing her money but you know what she did she got it out the mud and ironic enough it was her daughter my niece asking how does it feel what is it like coming from a from a small city having big dreams honey look to your mama look to your mama look to your mama Cause little does she know her mama her mama held the torch first and now she's holding the torch because where her mama got it out the mud my niece is getting it out the mud now and she's gonna hold a torch for all these young girls coming along that can look at her and say damn she did it I could do it too 
And then when she hears, and then when they go to my niece to ask her stories, well, who inspired you? I hope she tells stories of her mama. So y'all see how this goes? This shit is generational, my G. Generational. Let's embrace it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. This is a really good topic, and it got me really fired up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Right? I'm on the run. Right? I got to go work. Day's crazy. I got a long week in front of me. Yeah, but I'm going to try to drop these episodes every morning. Yeah, and they'll be set for Friday. So tune in. Yeah. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you have an amazing week, month, year, and life. Yeah. Until next time, I'll see all y'all on the flip side. Stay motivated out there. Bang, 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 bang.